This show is for educational purposes, mostly. But don't take yourself too seriously, so stay till the end so you can see the bloopers. How did the madness start with the <laughs> multiple assistants and what they do, what they all do for me? Well, kind of realized through the years that there's only so many things, so many things that you are good at, right? Um, I'm also in the same sentence from believer that you can learn anything. So if I'm very interested about something, I can sit down, I can read a book and shadow a person and get to the end of Google and YouTube and watch every video that I possibly can, right? And get really good at it. And if something interests you, you can absolutely learn it. But I also believe if somebody is really good at it, just pay them to get it done and get them faster and you move on with your life. You can't possibly become really good at everything. We have skills and then we have we don't have skills for certain things. You should start hiring out the not money-making activities, meaning your DMs, your emails, like the never-ending LinkedIn messages, right? You should hire out maintaining your home. Do I qualify to do a load of laundry? Absolutely. Can I cook? Yes, and I'm a very good cook. But we have Karen over there. Say hi, Miss Karen. Hi. <laughs> And she makes delicious meals for our family so then I can do what makes us the money, right? So I can do what I enjoy, I can do what I'm really good at, and most importantly, I can do the money-making activities so then everybody makes money, everybody's happy, and you have an organized life and an organized business. I don't have the time to go through everybody's job description. You are going to meet most of them. But I, but I also have in-person help and then I have online help. Some things cannot be done online. Our house assistant, Cassandra, who's here somewhere. Oh, dear. So I'm, I'm actually Cassandra for the day in here. She does pretty much everything around the household. The doctor's appointments, the laundry, the upkeep, the you name it. If the kids, if you're going on vacation, she helps us plan it. She grocery shops, you name it. She does everything around the house to make sure that this part of my life is well taken care of so then I can take care of business. We have a lot of help from many different angles because I'm a firm believer that you need to take your time and energy to do what you're good at or to do things that are money-making activities. And then when you are done working, you don't have to be exhausted, come off of a call and then be like, um, you do the laundry and I have to walk the dog and I have to make dinner and I don't have groceries and now I have to go to the grocery store. It never ends, guys. Welcome to Gogopreneur. so I can be ready for my never ending Zoom calls today. Okay, so have a vision board. Mine, this will change every single year, right? But this is mine for this year. We just moved to the Tampa area. So I put Tampa on there because I wanna learn Tampa and the area where I live at. Um, I put a world map on there because I love to travel. Um, but I want, you know, women rule the world. I feel like we are coming up. I want to go to Machu Picchu. I love a good relationship. So I put this on there as a reminder. Dwayne and I have been married for over almost 20 years now, but it's kind of just a reminder of, of um, a healthy relationship. I want to have amazing real estate investments, but also luxury real estate. I and mean, this is my next home, by the way, just so you guys know this is my next home. Um, things that are important, real estate, lifestyle, design, travel, all those kind of things. And then I found this quote and I just loved. Books should make my books should make my house look good and they should tell the story of who I am. Do you want makeup? And we are ready to tackle the day. So this episode is gonna be about what it actually takes, how many people help me to run the show here. Cassandra is with me pretty much all day, every day. Not like physically, because my door is closed most of the time, but in the same building, right? Because mm -hmm. I am on a lot of lives and a lot of podcasts and coaching calls and all of those things. So I want you guys to meet Cassandra and just kind of see the caliber of like what she does for us. Um, Cause she does a lot of everything, right? Like if you think about it, since I work so much, the household stuff still needs to be taken care of. You still need to have a full life, right? Like every, you can't, it is unhealthy for you to make all this money, but then your health gets, or you gain weight, or you don't pay your bills, or you don't know your kids grades, or you don't have groceries in the fridge, right? Like everything needs to be taken care of. And Cassandra is like, I do it all. Do not share her name or phone number. Okay. <laughs> um, now everybody else is pretty much virtual or they live somewhere else not physically by me. Cassandra is the only one that physically lives um, and works physically with me every single day. Everybody else is online. So how about you guys go to the kitchen and That's it. Start. So tell the world that you do for 
That's it. Typically, first thing I'll do is I'll come and I feed Charlie, our little doggy here. I'll just like tidy up around the house because literally she doesn't have time to do anything. So I'll come in, I'll do the dishes from last night, vacuum down here. I'll go start a load of laundry. And then I always have to go check the mail because no one checks the mail. So I go through the mail. And at this point, like I pretty much know like the things that just need to be filed right away. I'll make a pile of just garbage. They don't even need to see it. And then a pile for them hey, you need to look at this, you need to see what came, but then also just file it right away. I'll go outside and water the plants. We try to keep those alive things, like it's different every day. So I do like different kinds of paperwork, like with them moving down here, we've had to get new insurance for the cars, right? So like, I'll do that, like I get quotes from different insurance places and the golf cart, we needed to get that Instead of it being licensed as a golf cart, it's a low speed vehicle here. So we needed to get that all taken care of and that's all under my responsibility. And if she's traveling, like I'll always, I'm always constantly looking at her calendar to see like what's been added. What, where is she going next? Do we have hotel? Do we need an Airbnb? Is she driving? Is she flying? And then I'll get with her and then we'll sit down and book her flights real quick. So, I do spend quite a bit of time in here. This is our laundry room. We do at least like one load a day just to keep everything going since I'm not here on the weekends. And I just keep like this room tidy. This is the upstairs living room. Not too much goes on up here. Sometimes the boys will watch a movie, but just like the occasional vacuum. We do have a cleaner come every Friday, so I don't have to do too much cleaning, but just keeping it all organized and tidy. Gogo likes everything in its place. And so do I, so it works out well. So then we come into her room and she always loves the curtains open with the bright light. And I already made her bed this morning, so she likes her bed nice and neat. Let me just open all these up. So then too, since she did just move down here, um, there's been like things, this was a new build house. So there's been things that just like need to be fixed or like replaced. So I'm in charge of scheduling like all the maintenance people coming. And like when we had that hurricane come through, we noticed like one of the tiles is broken right here. So we need to have someone come fix that. So that's on my list of things that I just need to be on top of because GoGo doesn't have time to do that. So everything else just falls onto my plate. I just make my list. And as I go through, I just cross it all off. After I finish up here, like I'll clean the boys' rooms. I make their beds up while the laundry's going. I know at this point what they like to eat, like what we need to keep in stock here at the house. So my responsibilities are never ending. Constantly more and more things get added, but it's great. I love it. I love working for GoGo. So on my list for today, things that I need to do, I need to finish making the list for the event that she's having here in January. So I'm collecting like catering menus from all like the local restaurants around here for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. I'm also setting up like hotel blocks. I'm getting two different quotes from different hotels to see which one's nicer, what the better price is. So that way people can definitely have a room when they're coming to this event and they're not just like left having to go somewhere like 20 miles away. And that's about it. That's my day in a nutshell, very short nutshell. <laughs> Thank you. And I had Christy very, very, she is today my operations manager, or actually she's a director of operations, excuse me. She's a director of operations. She's with me, been with me for over eight years. And she's starting out kind of like it as a personal assistant slash transaction coordinator. Right. And then she has grown into into these multiple different positions that she she does. She actually helped me open all nine companies. We are we have been together in Tick and Ten all these years. Right. She's amazing and she's mine. I'm keeping her. She's my Christy. You go get your own Christy. Hey, guys, I'm Christy. Gogo's right hand or left hand. She likes to call it because technically I'm left handed. I've been working with Gogo since 2014. I actually started in the school. I actually worked at the school taking care of her son, Kobe. Um, he's type one diabetic and they needed an aide to watch over him in the schools. So that's kind of how I, I met Gogo was I started off as a, an aide taking care of Kobe from the time he was in first grade through third grade. 
Then he went to a new school. He went up to middle school. And at that point we were kind of in a middle spot. We weren't sure exactly what we wanted to do. I could have stayed at the school cause there were a few other kids there that they needed my help with. But I was really there for my kids cause my kids were in elementary school at the same school as Kobe. So I was able to work in the office with my kids while they're in elementary school. And I mean, that was awesome. So it just happened that job fit just perfectly, but I knew there was more out there for me. I wanted to do more. Gogo asked if I wanted to work with her. And I said, no, at first, because she wanted me to be her everything assistant with work, with the home, with taking care of the kids, household chores. And I, I had a family of my own. I had a house of my own. I wasn't able to, I wasn't in the position where I could actually do that. But I did tell her if she ever wanted someone in the office, that's something I would think about because I thought, I thought that I was in real estate and real estate was another language to me because my parents were realtors growing up. I had just bought a house. So I just assumed I knew everything about real estate. Little did I know. About, it took me about two or three weeks to finally say, okay, I figured what the hell, it's just for the, the summer, a couple days a week, it's something to do, um, it's worth a shot. So I did it and it wound up being awesome. The two of us wound up just clicking and it was amazing. We started off just locally here in Michigan with a cute little team called Gogo's Real Estate. As we decided to grow, bigger and we joined DXP, we decided to make it bigger. We decided to have an organization. That organization to this day is a thousand plus agents and counting. It's only been three short years and it's just, it has been life changing. And together we have grown from GoGo's Real Estate. That's our local real estate team here in Michigan. We have Team GoGo, which is an, a nationwide, not even just nationwide, but international worldwide team of realtors that just, that we all work together and help each other grow. It's amazing. Now we're doing the TV show, not to mention a title company, all of these other businesses, and it's just the two of us. How does that happen? It's, it's, I'm a completely different person than Gogo. She's a completely different person than I, but together we just make, we make magic happen, I guess. I don't know. But I know I wouldn't be here if it wasn't for Gogo. I am so grateful for everything that she's done for me, for my family. Um, we've gotten to a point in our lives where it's easy. Life's easy now. Yes, we work, but we don't have to worry about things. We don't have to, it's just easy. Sammy Baki here, founder of We Clone You. And if you'd like to learn more about how we may be able to save you a ton of time, money, and ultimately scale your business, by setting up done for you virtual workforces, leveraging systems and automations inside of your business, then go to www.wecloneyou.com forward slash go go. And if we're a good fit, we're gonna go out, we're gonna source, vet, interview, and place trained and skilled virtual assistants inside of your business to fill the roles that you need. We're gonna give them training, we're gonna onboard them, we're gonna give them support, we're gonna hold them accountable to ensure that they're doing a great job. We're then gonna identify the key systems inside of your business that we may need to work with your team to build out to make it more efficient. Then we're going to stick around and make sure that your virtual assistants perform. And if you have troubles with any of them, we'll go out and we'll replace and retrain them at no extra charge for you. And finally, we'll be around to rinse and repeat the process so that as your business continues to scale, we can meet all of your staffing and systems needs as you continue to grow. That being said, if you're interested in learning more, go to www.wecloneyou.com forward slash go go. Make sure to use GoGo's link to get $1,000 off in your first virtual assistant on gogo once again that's www.wecloneyou.com forward slash gogo i look forward to seeing you there soon guys to see my schedule and um, why this is important is because when um, Cassandra gets in in the morning she kind of looks at my calendar to see when she can talk to me so for example every Tuesday at 11 I have a live podcast right there so she knows do not bother me because every Tuesday at 11 I'm in a podcast which is most of the time live so nobody can come in and out on the door right also we kind of have the policy if my door is closed just consider it then you can't come in 
Um, but there are there are times when I forget it, and if something's very important, she'll still knock on the door and try to come in and ask me a question. But I want you to have some sort of a calendar, right? Like paper calendars, guys, is not going to do it because most of the time you're going to have to jump on a Zoom call. And if it's a Zoom call, for example, I just have to come here, I click this, and I know exactly what Zoom meeting I need to be in, right? So you have to be like very organized. Um, I'm also very visual, so my appointments are color coordinated, so I know purple, I don't have to be there, right? It's just the birthday I need to sometime during the day, I need to call, text, or email that person, wish them happy birthday, right? Um, the green ones, I know, oh shoot, I need to pack the day before because I'm physically going somewhere, right? Which I hate packing or unpacking because Sandra House did that. Um, and then all of the red ones, to me, I just know I must be there. That's why it's red because it's screaming at me that I have to attend that appointment, right? I also have some appointments in my calendar that are reoccurring and I attend it if and when I have the time, but I like to have it in my calendar because if I happen to have the time, then I would be attending that meeting, right? So it's just kind of like a reminder. So the other calendar is the Team GoGo -Go meeting. So if I uncheck that, the Team GoGo -Go trainings, you see how much cleaner my calendar is. But if I recheck it, all of the Team GoGo -Go trainings as well are going to show up. So if you have multiple calendars, like the Team GoGo -Go calendar, I need to have the ability for the link very quick, but I don't need to see it in my personal calendar, especially when I travel, because those are the times when I don't attend those trainings, because I can't, because I'm traveling and speaking, right? Um, so then I don't want the clutter in my calendar, so then I would uncheck it. So you have the ability of having multiple different calendars that feed to that one Google calendar that you use. So you use a calendar, guys, so you, honor it because as long as it's in your calendar if you're a man of your word or woman of your word right then you will show up and you know where to go and you don't have to dig up zoom links and whatever you're going because it's right in there now i know it looks pretty i'll be honest with you i don't manage this Lindsay, my virtual assistant manages my calendar she's the gatekeeper to my life she tells people yay or nay depending what they're asking me and what appointment they want to have with me right so Lindsay is in charge of that she makes it all pretty she makes sure that I am at every single appointment. She also calls me before um, every appointment, about five minutes before every appointment to remind me. So every morning I wake up to a message right around just before eight o'clock in the morning. Um, it looks like this. It says, good morning. Here's your schedule for today. Wednesday, November 9th, 9 a.m. to 10.30. You have a bootcamp meeting, 9.30 to 10.30. As you see, sometimes I have overlapping appointments. So I go show my face and then I'll go to the other one very quick, right? And then if there's a meeting that's not on my own personal link, then she includes the link in here. So then I know where to go. But I do prefer, if somebody's having a meeting with me, it's gonna be on my Zoom link. Because as you see, I'm back to back to back to back. I don't have the time to jump off of a Zoom and log into another Zoom. This way I can just, they come to me. Um, and she puts a little computer mark in there, so she she's telling me that it's a Zoom call, right? So I just need to be on a Zoom. Lindsay is my executive assistant, but we have grown. You remember I told you about my calendar that she manages and all that. We have grown so much. Lindsay goes to every single appointment I go to, every single Zoom call, because this is my way of making sure that she's always up to date. So I don't have to have meetings with her during the day to bring her up to date because she goes everywhere I go, so she's always up to date. But because my appointments are like back to back to back, eight hours a day, she really can't even have time to get anything done. So she needed to have an assistant and her name is Amanda to actually get the stuff done that needs to get done. So Lindsay and Amanda go to all of my Zoom meetings with me, all of the meetings that are online, not in person because they are in Brazil. And then Amanda, for example, has her camera off and in the background, if I, need, if, if I need a document, she'll give it to me very quick. If I need a link, she'll give it to me very quick. If something needs to be added to my calendar, she adds it right there on the spot. Think of it this way, we have so many people in my calendar all day, every day, then a spot can, even though it's available right now, it can be gone in two seconds. So when somebody needs my time or when I agree to an appointment, that has to be blocked right there and then so nobody else has access to that time in my calendar. Inside is our probably very, one of the very first VAs. He started out as our numbers guy. He started out filling out all of our trackers. I like to track everything on the production side and the agent attraction side, all of my income, all of my expenses, everything that comes in, everything that goes out. Karen is my social media girl. Karen learned to speak the way I speak. So I only post on Instagram. Then Karen takes it from there and plasters it on every single different platform. The TikToks, the YouTubes, like you see me everywhere. That's because of Karen. I only post on Instagram and from there she takes it and feeds it to all of the different platforms. She's my social media girl. She's also the one that answers all of the DMs unless it's on Instagram. On Instagram you get me personally, but everywhere else you're going to get a VA. The next one is Ellen and Ellen is, she's adorable. She's just so sweet. And she's our design girl. 
So she makes sure that all the flyers, all the things that we need are pretty, right? And they are ready um, to be plastered for the world. So if you have an event, she creates the event right and she creates the calendar link and she creates all of those things and makes them pretty, the flyers and makes them pretty. If somebody has a birthday, if somebody kept or I can, when we celebrate our agents, she creates all of those things that I share on my social media are created by Ellen. So if anything needs to be made pretty, consider it that Alan did, okay? And then Karen posted it. By the way, pretty much everybody that I mentioned here is from Brazil besides Said. Said is from Pakistan. Then we have Natalia, and Natalia got hired in for Googlepreneur. So Googlepreneur is my TV show, where you're watching me right now here, right? But that also requires an assistant because it's a totally different job than my bootcamp. It's a totally different job than my real estate team. It's a totally different job than my downline, my title company, and all of the other things that we own. So Natalia is my assistant on Googlepreneur side of things. So all of the marketers that we um, accept onto the show, all of the marketing releases, the episodes, the videos, to pretty much the emails, the requests that we get. So everything that is an assistant job on the, um, what is it called, on the Googlepreneur side of things, that's Natalia's and she's adorable. She's also from Brazil. I just wanted you guys to kind of have an overview of what we do, how we do it, like how we get the madness done because <laughs> I cannot do it alone. I am blessed with an amazing team and that's how everything gets done. We just have a bunch of mini gogos that run around and help me to get things done. And then I'm excited because they're going to share their own videos of what it's like to be working with me from their angle. So let's watch it. Hi guys, my name is Said and I am from Pakistan. I live in Islamabad. Uh, it's the capital city of our country. Okay, and I have been working with Gogo for the past almost two years now. I started off as a VA, uh, onboarding these different agents onto the different Gogo and EXP systems. And now I have transitioned into a more senior role because I'm the most senior one in the VAs. So I'm working as a project manager and a product manager on the Gogo's bootcamp side. I'm uh, helping Gogo run the project and see everything is in place. Apart from that, I run all of our numbers that are the revenue share numbers or the agent numbers every month and uh, every week. And every every 15 days. My hobbies are like playing soccer, football, and video games. As you guys can see, this is where I work, okay? And you can see Call of Duty, one of the best game ever. And I purchased this laptop just yesterday just for this and I also have a PS5. Apart from that, um, what I do is I watch movies, I watch Netflix, Amazon, everything. So this is what I do and this is where I live. Okay, it's a, it's a one, it's a beautiful apartment that I have over here and I live alone. Uh, my family is in a different state. Uh, I have experience of like almost 10 years now with offshore companies or people in the US. So I am uh, pretty well versed in the culture and everything. I help uh, Gogo with anything that she asks me for. And I believe uh, Gogo is like the best manager I have ever had or the best boss I have ever had. So this is like a brief uh, thing about me, what I do for Gogo every day. Everything is so good. I'm gonna be working with Gogo as long as I can <laughs> till I die, maybe. Hi everyone. So my name is Lisa. I'm from the very south of Brazil, border with Uruguay. It's a nice place. I am Gogo's executive assistant. I started working on one of Gogo's businesses, which is Gogo's Bootcamp. I started um, part-time as a part-time VA, and I used to, you know, manage the Facebook groups, manage the courses, the boot camps by themselves. And um, I was more working in the background, the support part of Gogo's Bootcamp, you know? Then, you know, I started wearing many hats. I also was um, Chris's assistant. Chris is Gogo's right hand. Then about six months ago, I became Gogo's executive assistant. My main job is to take charge and to take care and manage Gogo's calendar and Gogo's email. <laughs> it's also one of my biggest challenges. This is hard, I have to tell you. <laughs> but this is not an easy task, but I have been learning so much how she works and how she handles things. And as I learned that, it becomes easier for me to manage her, her calendar. You know? I work on the Team Gogo side. Team Gogo is her, her group, her team at EXP that she has a um, thousand plus agents so far. And I am responsible for providing to them the best trainings, the best trainers as well. So I reach out to the best people in the real estate uh, world or in the entrepreneur world 
and I reach out to them and I invite them, I invite them to come and teach us on our weekly training. So we have many trainings um, throughout the week and I am responsible for reaching out to those people and schedule, it, schedule them, sorry my English, schedule them ahead of time. So uh, we always, I always do my best to have the best of the best in the industry to come and teach us on the Team Go weekly trainings. And I also uh, do my best to have the other VAs whenever they they have some problems, some challenges. Um, always make sure that everything is working on the VA side, that they are doing their best, that they are understanding what they have to understand, that they are doing what they have to do. Oh, something very, very important that I didn't mention yet, but I can't forget, I can't forget it, is that um, I follow Gogo wherever she is when it comes to work, right? So I join every single meeting that she joins. I join every single training that she joins. I join every single call that she has to attend. I will be there, you know, as a, you know, as a support. Um, Gogo is the kind of person that <laughs> needs help when it comes to links, when it comes to I don't know, something in the Google Drive folders. <laughs> um, so I'm always there um, to help her um, whenever she needs. It has been a pleasure to work with Google because it, it is a big challenge. I cannot, <laughs> I cannot um, forget to mention that because it is a challenge, but at the same time, it helps me to grow so much that I think that I will not be able to work anywhere else. We are a family. I like when Google says that as well, that we are a family because we are. This is the kind of relationship that I want, that I want to, to have for my life. I think that we have a purpose in here. This is very important for someone to have in their like in his or her life. The feeling of the, that they have a purpose, that they have a meaning, even in the job um, side, the work side, I still have, I still, I feel that I have a purpose in here. So, yes, I enjoy working here and I enjoy working from my home. And this is so nice. I love this and I love to work from the comfort of my zone. And I enjoy that a lot. And I'm so, so happy that Google has um, a TV show. This is amazing. The things that she enjoys most is to help others. You know, and by this TV show, I know that she will, she will have many people. You know, everyone that will watch this TV show will learn something that they that will change their lives forever. Also, guys, something that I didn't tell you, but it's very important for me. Since I work from home, one of the things that I really like is um, that I have this view, guys. I I can work and still enjoying this beautiful view from my office, from my home, from my living room, actually. Um, so can you see, oh, sorry. Can you see all these green things? Can you see all the mountains out there? You see it? The trees, my city. I love that. I love working from home and still have this beautiful view. That makes me happy. My name is Amanda. I'm one of Gogo's virtual assistants. Uh, I'm from Brazil and I've been working with Gogo since October 2022 and today I'm gonna show you a little bit of where I work and what I do. I got in the team to help with a, a specific project but I actually try to assist everybody with their work. If I can help I'll do it. So I help Gogo, Christy, I help all the other VAs. We have to make sure everything is working well everywhere on the websites, on social media, with our clients, our affiliates. So there's always uh, a lot of things to do. Uh, working with Gogo is very interesting because she's so energetic when it comes to her work. There's always a new idea, there's always a new project, a new goal, and she wants to make it happen right away. And I like that very much. It's never boring working with Gogo. Uh, I don't have a lot to show because my setup is very simple, very basic. I just have here my desk, my computer, my notebooks, a chair <laughs> and that's all I need to work. So if basically I have my computer, I have everything 
and I can work from anywhere. Every day in the morning, before I start working, I go to the gym because if I don't go in the morning, I don't have energy to go any other time of the day. We are having the World Cup and today Brazil is gonna play. I hope Brazil wins. And this one is my assistant. Hello, my name is Karen Dantas. I'm from Brazil and I am Google's social media manager. I have been working for Google for eight months now. I'm responsible to answer everybody's questions on LinkedIn, Facebook, and other pages that Google has, including YouTube. As you can see, I'm uploading the training because we have um, like weekly trainings that we record and only Team Gogo members can access. So this is our private YouTube channel. And of course, Gogo has another one that I also take care of. And I manage all of her accounts, like in general, even TikTok. I like to work for Gogo because I can work from home. I'm actually in Brazil right now. Um, the American flag here, it's because I used to live in the US. I was also an au pair like Gogo and I came back in January. And this job also allows me to study and I'm a first year med student. <laughs> so like, as GoGo, -Go, my life is very busy, but I really enjoy my team. And sometimes when someone cannot do something, we are trying to help each other. And I believe like GoGo -Go made a really good team. So right now I'm gonna start Why Not EXP for GoGo. -Go. And we are going to have Jessica Taylor. And that's it. Hi everyone, I'm Ellen. I'm Gogo's design VA. And I'm here to show you today uh, what it's like to work with Gogo. And I'm going to show you just a, t a tiny part of my day so you guys can see uh, what do I do and yeah, my routine actually. Let's do this. So let's start with my office. This is my office. Please don't mind all the mess. <laughs> yeah, so. Yeah, I have a yellow rug and this is my work machine. This is my buddy. Hi, Mitri. Say hi to Gogo and everyone. Hi. In that plant. Meow. This is how I take notes. <laughs> and this is the notebook that I used to use uh, when I first started working with Gogo. And let me show you guys. This is all that I used to take notes. Actually, about everything that I do for her, all the meetings, all the things that Gogo asks for me, and all that I, I need to plan for her, I make sure to try to understand the best I can what she needs me to do. And scribbles. <laughs> I was working on a presentation for Gogo. It's a presentation she needs to do on January next year and actually right now I need to hop on the training that Team Gogo offers to all of the agents and I need, I need to make sure that I make stories of the most interesting parts that the guest is presenting to us so we can generate follow wow, so let's do this. As I just sort of reference, I have a business partner uh, that I've worked together with now uh, in February, I think 15 years, we started working together February of 08. So the meeting just ended and I'm going to get back to work on Google's presentation and then I'm going to get some information to create some content for her and I'll show, I'll show you on my screen what I do and that's it. Thank you guys, bye! Hi, my name is Natalia, I'm from Brazil and I have been working with Google for three months now and I'm actually responsible for the Googlepreneur. So I'm responsible for making sure that the editors has all the videos, all the right content for the episodes. I'm also right now making sure that I'm like updating the website. This isn't like my actually workplace. Uh, I'm actually traveling. The best thing of working with Google is that you can do your job whatever you work. For example, I am in the airport, as you can see. Look at you. I'm just literally sitting here. <laughs> but I am working. Uh, we have some issues with the website, 
and right now I'm just like updating some stuff so look how life is crazy I'm traveling and I'm still working yeah that's the best part about the job right I can work from anywhere I'm not at home I'm just traveling and chilling here in the hotel floor doing my job and once I'm done I can do whatever that's the best part of the job I have been learning a lot with Gogo and I, I remember that in the beginning I used to go through all her meetings with her and I remember just watching her and like wow she's a badass <laughs> so it is really nice to work for a businesswoman it's very inspiring you know the way that she handles she can be a little bit tough sometimes but it's basically how you grow right if you're in charge of like a lot of companies like she is she needs a lot of people working for her so she needs to be on top of everything so it's been a great experience. Hello everyone, I'm Priscilla and I'm the real estate assistant. I'm responsible for talking to agents, updating the team's spreadsheets and also posting on social medias everything related to our job, such as open houses events, news and updates about the real estate universe. Every morning before I start working, I walk with my dog, I go to the gym and I also read as you can see in my background and when I have free time I go surfing I love it hi I'm Gabriel I'm one of Gogo's virtual assistant I work for Gogo it's been like two months that I work for Gogo and it's been an opportunity to learn uh, not not just on the things that I do but uh, Gogo is a great leader so it's opportunity to learn how to lead too I work uh, with Said I'm his assistant. I help in, in the intro calls. I, I'm responsible of the visual part of Google Printer website too. Basically a tech assistant. Working in this setup right now, it's not my normal setup because I'm traveling. I love being Google's assistant. I love working with all these people. And yeah, that's me. If you want to have the best of both worlds, where you can have your cake and eat it too, where you can have a clean house and it's beautiful and it's organized and your laundry's done and your kids are taken care of and there's dinner on the table at 6.30, then you kind of need help. And I have a lot of help and I love them all. They're amazing. I'm surrounded by amazing people and I wouldn't do it in any other way. Okay. Hi, um, I'm Gogo <laughs> and um, EXP is awesome. You should join. So that way it's just a lot easier when you have someone else helping you. Do you want to pause it? <laughs> oh God. Yeah, now you are got me all sweaty over here. Go, go, jeez. All right. Closing the door. <laughs> and, you know, we'll come out, we'll have like good talks together. And yeah. Oh, I'm not good at this part. No, see, this ain't good. Where's Dwayne at? In the next Gogopreneur episode. I love nothing more but helping people any way I can possibly to grow their businesses or sometimes their personal life. So this time, Kat West and her husband Jeremy and Melissa Johnson, they came over to hang with me for two days. Now I live in Florida and they also live in Florida, but just the other side of the state. And they came over to spend a day with us and a night to kind of see how Duane and I work together. Since Kat and her husband just recently started working together, he quit his corporate America job, just like Duane quit his corporate America job. And they came over to visit to see us in action. I am a huge believer that watching someone do what you want to learn to do, it is a much quicker step to your success versus trying to read about it or those kind of things. Like putting yourself in the element where it's actually happening, it will catapult your business to success and you're going to learn something that you didn't even know about whatever the subject is that you wanted to learn. So they came over, they spent two days with us and um, hopefully they can tell you what they learned. It was awesome to spend time with them, answer any of the questions they have on a personal side, on the business side, how we do things, who does what in the relationship, how do we learn to work with each other quirks, that kind of stuff. So watch in, we'll see it in this episode. How much did you guys do this year? We're at around 14 million. Woo! That's my job. Yeah. <laughs>
<laughs> Good job, guys. For all the products and services featured in this episode, pause the show right now, scan the QR code, and I will see you on our website. <laughs>